When you apply a ceramic coating to a surface, you make it non-stick. Now this is ideal for a car or truck because you give it instant protection from the elements. But last year I had a better idea and I put it on my snowblower and the results were amazing, but I got so many comments asking to do the same test on a lawnmower, but I wanted to give you a real test. So that meant two of the exact same type of lawnmower used in the same patch of grass side by side so that you could see the results. These are the two mowers I'll be using for the test. They're battery powered and made by Makita. To get started, I've got to apply the ceramic coating to one of the two Makita mowers. The coating I'm gonna be using is made by the company Avalon King, and they are the sponsor of today's video, and I appreciate their support to put this together. Now this coating is easily one of the best ones you can use because it's simple and fast. This is the same coating I used in my Toyota Tacoma. Applying the coating to a mower is really easy. You just start by cleaning the surface, and we're gonna do that with isopropyl alcohol. And you don't just use it straight out of the bottle, you dilute it with a little bit of water until you get it to about a 20% concentration. Now always follow the directions if you're gonna do a vehicle, but with a lawnmower you don't have to be as precise. And because these are battery powered, I just have to yank out the batteries, pull out the safety key, and flip the mower over so that I can get to the deck below. Now I've got to start by wiping down the surfaces with the isopropyl alcohol. You want to spend some time doing this because you want to get to every corner of the mower. When these things are new, they tend to have oil on them, and that's going to prevent that coating from sticking. But this is super easy, and it only took me about five minutes to do. Now we're ready to apply our coating, and the Avalon King kit gives you everything you need in the box, even the gloves. You're going to start by shaking up the coating itself. Take your foam block, and you're going to wrap it with that small microfiber cloth. Now apply several drops of the coating to it and you're ready to start wiping it on the surface. But the issue I had here was, there's so many bends in the metal, I just decided to use the microfiber itself to apply it and this made it a lot easier. And I applied it to the deck, the blade, the motor housing that's made of plastic and also the upper parts of the mower as well. When you're done, you're going to let it dry for about 5 minutes, wipe any excess off with the second cloth they include and then it's best to let the coating cure for about 24 hours before you use it. And so that I won't lose track of which mower was which, I put a piece of red electrical tape on the ceramic coated mower. And it wouldn't be much of a test on dry grass, so I ran my sprinklers for about 15 minutes to get the grass good and wet. I'm going to make four passes with each mower around 100 feet long a piece. I'm a big fan of Makita tools and I've used a lot of their other stuff, but I've never tried any of their mowers. And throughout this test, I have to say these were super quiet and the cut quality was excellent. So if you're ever in the market for a battery unit, this is definitely one to consider. And with the test complete, we're ready to look at the results. And I was super excited to see what was underneath those decks. And a ceramic coated mower on the left looks a lot better than the uncoated mower. You can see there's a lot more grass buildup, and even in places like the chute in the corners, and that's the stuff that could rust your deck long term. And this is a really great result. The coating definitely helped keep the grass from sticking, and even places like the chute look a lot better than the uncoated mower. And this test was really fun to do, but it proved that the ceramic coating can give you a non-stick surface even in a place like a lawnmower. And if you're in the market for a ceramic coating, I'd highly recommend checking out the Avalon King website and get some of this stuff for yourself. In fact, the bottle that I used for my Tacoma still had enough left to easily do probably four lawnmowers. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.